you got their attention, male or female, and you know what? Everything they're grasping is making sense, mm -hmm. but they got this misconception. They hear some some falsehood from the media. Mm -hmm. They're associating Islam with some terrorism. Mm -hmm. They want to take the step, but you know what? They think, okay, I'm going to become like this uh, person who's uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Afghanistan or this person who's yeah. blowing something up. And they, uh, what do you have to say about this? Well, I could say a hundred things about that. I mean, one of the things I could say: imagine everyone judged Christianity by David Koresh and the you know, the uh, Seventh-day Adventists who followed him in that siege in Waco in Texas. Or imagine everyone judged Christianity by the Oklahoma bomber, who was a right-wing Christian fundamentalist. Imagine everyone judged Christianity by Adolf Hitler and said, well, you know, imagine some people in whoever in the world said, oh, that's Europe, they're all Christians, Adolf Hitler therefore must be a Christian, therefore that must be Christianity. I mean, no one with three brain cells would really come to a conclusion like that, right, if you bothered to use them. So just looking at some things that some Muslims do and then coming to, to the conclusion that that is Islam is not an intelligent way to behave. You can't judge Islam by what some Muslims do or even, to tell you the truth, even by what pe most people who call themselves Muslims or claim to be Muslims do, okay? Islam says don't drink alcohol if all Muslims you find them drinking alcohol. Do you blame Islam? Do you say, oh, Islam is a religion that allows you to drink alcohol? How do you know? I, well, I saw Muslims drinking alcohol. Yeah, but the Quran says don't drink it. The Quran says don't kill women, don't kill children, don't kill the old people, don't attack the civilians. This is what the Prophet Muhammad told us, okay? Yes, the Qur'an does teach us about fighting. And there is a time and a place to fight in defense of your land, of your religion, whatever. But you never allows you to kill women and children and civilians, for example. That's what Islam teaches. So an intelligent person, rather, would want to know what does the religion teach? What did the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad, what did he do? What did he say? You know, then you really know what Islam is. But you can't judge Islam by Muslims any more than Christianity could be judged by, you know, the Spanish conquistadors or the Spanish Inquisition or Hitler or, or whatever. Okay, so I don't think that to judge Islam by those criterion, you know, is the right way to go at all.